What is up guys? So today we're going to look through some pretty intense games on my Battles TV. So some of them are in uh, actual boss arenas that I haven't played in ages because it was half term. I was able to play ones that I'm not normally able to play. So for example, where where is it? Yeah, this one. It's got 100 views, 22 likes, which is pretty insane for a normal battle. And well, <laughs> you'll see why it's so good. Also, I will get rid of the timer thing I think I think I know how to do it now with my editor so I will get rid of that if I can I will try my best to so that'll be pretty cool because you are you guys always when I use battles TV you guys always um tell me the like it, it's a really annoying because you know it tells you the time of the game um right okay so in this game we have the loadout of uh boat ninja and super monkey so it was r3 Blunaria swamp Blunaria swamp whatever you want to call that and this guy's actually in my discord server um, but this, the, the ending of this game is absolutely hilarious, like, it's, you, you'll probably see it in the title, it was ridiculous. I honestly don't know what happened there, um, but you'll see. So, but what, what we're doing now is building up our eco, um, because with the, with these towers, well, firstly we don't have farm, like, you have to build up, uh, you have to build up eco, you know, to, to defend. You have to, you have to build up eco, if you just went with the 250 eco. You wouldn't be making any more money so it's vital um, if, you, if you're not very good at this game and you don't know what I'm talking about eco is sending out balloons uh, to get money back but I, I'm sure most of my subscribers are pretty decent at the game to be honest um, but yeah round eight and we, we're just with some we're just chilling with uh, two boats we've got exactly we've well, basi basically got the same eco um, we've got the same defense uh, apart from I got a few lives off him with some blacks uh, and he's got a tiny bit more eco, but honestly, it's not a big difference at all. Um, wasted a bit of money there, to be honest. I should have sent, should have sent some leads at him to force him to upgrade to cannon ship, but I didn't, which was stupid. But uh, instead of going for some leads, I went for this really weird rush with some leads and then some whites, and it was just really dumb. I mean, it got him to upgrade, but it was a bit too late, and the whites just wasted all my money. Now look here, so. This, so he all out rushes me, you'll see here, he sells, well when he defends that, he sells all his towers but one, and he goes with the regen rainbows, okay, so these regen rainbows, they, they, look how many sets, look how many sets he sent, he sent like seven, was that, seven sets, and my destroyer has regen them tons, but watch, so, my, my destroyers, Look, look at look how OP this destroyer is. Look, oh, I accidentally speeded it up, but look. So all of those balloons go, go through. There are tons in there. And I go down to 20, 14 lives. So the ninja was really clutch there, and it actually it literally saved me because it fired off like three or four shots. So it actually saved me there, and I I end up taking the win. I don't know how I took the win. There. I don't know how I defended that um, with my defense. I had no idea that that could defend. To be honest. Um, but it did, so we're going to go through some games with Mike Irene YT. And I said I said I'd upload this cause uh, these because they were pretty they were decent games. Um both going Dark Farm Ace on both occasions, I believe. Uh, I'll check after. But he or he uh, he or she, most likely he, always face palm me when i uh, when I place my farms down there. I don't see what's wrong with placing them down there. Like sure you can fit I guess you can fit more at the top than the bottom. Uh, but honestly it doesn't make a difference. So I was really happy um, to face a decent dart player because there are there are everyone goes with some strats like Heli, um, even Dartling Gun. Like Jaja Josh um, did a really really good strat with the, the Dartling Gun. It was um super no not super monkey. What am I talking about? It was farm village and Dartling, and it was seriously good. It really it was really really good. And because with the monkey fort, so if you know the, the monkey fort is a monkey village upgrade. And it basically adds one pierce to everything. So with the Hydra Rocket Pods, the Hydra Rocket Pods have one pierce, don't they? So with the with the Monkey Fort, it it doubles their power because it means the rockets have two pierce each. Um, so it's, it's it's firing two rockets at once, um, which is it's like amazing. So for one small upgrade on the Monkey Village, it doubles the power of your towers, which is just insane. The same thing used to be with the with the glaive ricochet, where instead of just adding one pierce, that would have been stupid because the monkey, uh, so the, the the ricochet did like 100 damage, 200 damage already. So adding one wouldn't do anything. So they made it throw two boomerangs, two boomerangs. So that's why the that's why the strat village cobra 
um, rumor was actually viable simply because um, simply because of that because the boomer could just wipe out around 13 rush easily and um, with the with all out ZMG rushes I used to be pretty good at that strat actually I used to use it quite a lot because I, I believe it or not was a grinder in gaming rec um, or it used to be called world domination before that but yeah I was there I was in that I was in that clan I was I was one of the not the first people but I was a decent grinder for their clan I got like 50k keys a week of course I don't do it now it's so dumb so dumb to grind but anyway let's get to the gameplay so he sends me a few whites uh, which I just easily demolish because uh, this spiker pulse spot I learned it off I can't oh, I can't exactly remember who it was but it was someone in their video and they used they used this uh, spiker pulse spot and it absolutely demolished a zebra rush it really did it was a really good spot because it shoots right down that straight there and it's surprisingly good but um, Nature Spirit was talking to me recently about how there are no good jug spots on this map. And I I, I kind of see why he's saying that, but... Uh, he's saying that on all of the boss arena maps, but... I think there are some decent, um... I think there's some decent jug spots. Like, the one at the top uh, is pretty decent, but yeah. So here, he goes for a regen lead, um, some zebras, regen zebras, and pinks. And I... I just get up another spiker pole, and... I'm I'm fine. I mean, I leak I leak. Oh, oh, okay. I'm not fine. I leak tons of lives, but I'm okay. Any face bombs? Because that that was a quite a big waste of money by him. And now, and now we're equal. He's still got slightly more money than me, but we are equal in farms at the moment, which is nice. Um. Okay, so I send I send a few leads and a camo ceramic, and I quite like this rush. I should have sent some pinks over the top. That would have been so much more effective. Because uh, you can see he just demolishes that. He doesn't even leak a single life. If I had sent some pinks over the top so he couldn't see it, I, I swear that would have done more damage. But anyway, goes for some leads, regen rainbows, regen zebras. And I do have to... Um, oh, I don't boost it? What? And so yeah, I triple dart spam and I actually defend with the triple darts. So again, that was a waste of money by them. They spent like at least 3k on that rush. Uh, and I should have sent a mob up here. They have literally no money, not much defense. Yeah, so I do send a, I send a mob up, but a bit late, uh, which is a bit stupid. I should have sent it absolutely straight away. Uh, and then I and then I energy it too late, which is kind of dumb. Um, but yeah, for the for the mob, I, I triple dart spam, and in fact I am fine without boosting. Uh, however, they they leak absolute ton to that mob because they they didn't have to energy it either. So we both. Didn't have to energy it, and you can see I do. I am out farming them at the moment. I have a lot more money, um, so that's good, I guess. You can see they're selling the triple tasks, trying to get that uh, factory up. You can see we're both going for the factory, not getting an extra plantation for some reason. I don't know why we both didn't go for a plantation. Uh, we went for the republics, but anyway, it doesn't really matter. Um, I yes, yeah, so I, I, yeah, he goes for the plantation. I go for the plantation, uh, which is what I was just talking about. It was kind of dumb not going for it, to be honest. Um, but then. Mike Irene sends me a BFB. Now, against the BFB, obviously it's a fan club. Uh, and luckily, I don't think... Yeah, I don't go for my factory um, just yet. So I thumbs down um, because I know I can defend it easily because I have all of that money saved up. I had all of it saved up. They should have waited until I had bought my factory to get it. Um, so I defend it absolutely fine with the fan club. Uh, You'll you see in a minute. I defend it absolutely fine. I say unlucky. Uh, and then they go for their factory, having to sell all their plantations. Uh, and shortly after this, I believe I go for my factory as well. Uh, after selling the, uh, yeah, selling that, I go for my factory. Uh, but I manage to keep a plantation, which is nice. So I am technically, and it, and then they send another BFB at me. So no, don't send another BFB. And I send a Moab. So they they get the A. So I'm about to get an Operation Darts done for the next round. But because of the mob, they're going to have to spam more triple darts. You can see they have to energy it and then get the ace up. Um, so, ceramics on this round. I didn't, I forgot that the, the, there was ceramics on this round. So I, look at this, look at this. I almost died to the ceramics. Almost, like, down to six lives. And then I energy because I, I was really worried. So that was, that was stupid. I thought I would have died there. But luckily, I didn't. It was, it was close. But I didn't survive. Uh, I didn't die, sorry. And then I get the ace up. And they're they're pretty happy that I'm going Dark Farm Ace. Because Dark Farm Ace is a nice strat to go with. It's nice playing other people that are going Dark Farm Ace. 
But to be honest, I am very, very poor at this strat. I'm not afraid to admit it. I'm not good. I'm decent at early game. Uh, well, I'm not decent. I'm okay at the early game. I'm terrible when it gets to around 32 plus. I just don't know what to rush with uh, or anything. But I was watching. I was watching someone called Nature Spirits. What? What happened there? I died. How did I die? <laughs> I died. I died to the AI. I wasn't even concentrating. No. Okay, so apparently I died to the AI. I was doing so well. I was even out farming them. Oh, uh, so that's absolutely rip. Um. Oh no. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna go through one more game. This was a pretty intense game. I played in CC Ceramic Crucible, guys. Um, on my one of my least favorite maps. But what I was talking about is there's a Dark Farm Ace tutorial by Nature Spirit. Just type up uh, type type up Nature Spirit in the YouTube search bar. I'm sure uh, it will come up with um their name, their channel. And it was actually a decent tutorial. Like, um, he's he's a really really good player, and the, his tutorial has taught me quite a lot. Um, so hopefully I will improve. Uh, on my dark farm skills. So, I don't know what I was doing when I was sending reds and blues because it's not going to do anything. I should have just been concentrating on my farms like they are. Uh, also, this guy in CC had an incredible record. He had a, he had a 90% record in CC. Um, so, I assumed he was decent. I guess perhaps he was grinding CC? I don't know. But, I energyed the pings because I just wanted to prevent leaks. Um, in hindsight, that was completely dumb. I should have waited. Uh, until he had used this energy up uh, and then energy deck because you can see I will leak a lot more lives here um, But luckily they didn't send any blacks or greens at me like blacks laid with um, Greens laid with blacks and pinks would have done a lot of damage um, And it would have made me have to buy another boat. Uh, yes another boat uh, But you can see now he's very slightly up in farms, but he's going for the more bananas rather than the plantations so I forced an energy out of him with some yellows, so that was good. And then I get my apprentice ready because the apprentice, when when you get it to the intense magic plus fireball, is really decent. It really is. It's actually good against uh, Brew Boom Popping Mars. So I get it up to the Lightning Wizard. I've got two plantations. I'm happy with that. Then he goes for this uh, rush with Regen Leads and Pinks, and I demolish it with my Lightning Wizard. Lightning OP. Um, barely leaked alive. I, I maybe I even no lives lost. I I couldn't see. Um, but yeah, this this game on Swan Lake was pretty intense. I think pretty intense game. I played it a few days ago. It, it was it was good. Um, I'm enjoying playing BTD again because I took a break. Break was nice. Back to playing BTD is fun. Um, if I carried on playing, I perhaps would have lost interest and stopped uploading. But I'm 100% going to carry on up uploading now because I'm really enjoying it. So why wouldn't I? So then I send some leads, and then they have to go for the assault rifle. They have to go for it because. Um, because uh, the leads, they would either they could have gone for a cannon ship, but that's kind of risky. It's not great. So now I'm really up in farms. They go for some regen leads. I sell a farm prematurely, and I panic. I panic and get an extra destroyer up. But you can see I do defend it really well. So I didn't even have to sell that farm. I don't think. So I defend it really well. I was still up in farms, um, and our eco is pretty similar. <clears throat> then he goes for some regen leads, plus those and our energy I shouldn't have energy that that was really premature I was so worried that that would kill me so I get another wizard ready another wizard ready to defend and you can see you spam quite a few boats there just to get ready for a mob or something uh, which I don't think I sent I don't know why I didn't but then he goes for some more regen leads regen zebras and I go for the fire mage because the fire mage is decent it is it's decent and then I sell another farm I didn't have to sell another farm but yeah I got three destroyers up um, so he, he sends the angry emoji um, because I've literally defended everything he sent. Um, he, the problem is he hasn't been sending me big enough rushes. Oh, but you can see here, sending me the regen legs, they are getting close. Um, so I got pretty worried there and I bought a fire mage. Uh, but still, I'm okay. I'm okay, guys. So he goes for an all out Moab rush. Um, and it is intense. It is an intense defend, in my opinion. In my opinion, it is intense. Um, also, I'm gonna play one more of Vortex, uh, Vortex game uh, after this. Um, but yeah, I think anyway, he dies. That was a decent defend, in my opinion. Uh, how many destroyers? One, two, three, four, five. I think I had six or seven destroyers there, which absolutely owned the balloon. So we're gonna go to the last Vortex game. Which one was it? It was um, oh yeah, it was this one. It was amazing. It was absolutely hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. Such a good game. 
So you can you can already see the problem with this. You can already see the problem, uh, which is camera detection. You don't have it. There's no there's no camera detection apart from the ice ability. Now um, with the ice ability, it stalls all of the blooms on the screen and slows them down. So what you have to do is just micro the ice ability as best you can. And we we did end up doing that. <laughs> it was quite funny. It's it's such a funny game. Um, this is going to be the last game of the video. I hope you enjoy. If you do enjoy these types of videos, not just live comms. I mean, this is live, uh, but it's kind of a post com. But if you enjoy them, I know Gaming Shaft did a few. Uh, obviously, without the aid of Battles TV, because Battles TV didn't exist um, back in Shaft's old days. Not really old. It was like four months ago. But anyway, we got our factory up, same time as him. Actually, not at the same time. He actually gets it before me, which is rip. Um, but you, you, can, you can see the problem. A camo detection is just terrible. Um, oh, also, I, I've, um, I've recently changed my name to CC Noob, guys. Changed it to CC Noob, because that was the one everyone voted for. Everyone voted for it. CC Noob. So my name is officially CC Noob on this now. Um, Boltrix has to change his name to CC God. He just has to. It'd be so funny if he was CC God. I'm CC Noob. Um... But okay, so we get we get all of the ice abilities ready, and well, it's it's a very very funny. <laughs> yeah. I send them first. Um, I send them first, and I keep on sending. And look at this lag. Look, connection broken. The lag was absolutely insane. Uh, you can see here. I need a good thumbnail, but that is a good thumbnail. Um, it was absolutely hilarious. The lag. It looked like he had died, but he didn't die. He he slowed them down at first. And you can see it's a bit laggy here. Uh, and then he sends some camos of his own. And we're just... Basically, what we're doing is... I didn't slow those down fast enough. Uh, but all we're doing is just slowing them down. And hoping. Hoping. Uh, that somehow... Somehow we can defend. It was so great. It was so funny. It was, it was hilarious. The best game ever. Uh, in my opinion. But... The worst thing about it is... Is what happened when we uh, when uh, when one of us died. You'll see. It is it's horrible. It is absolutely horrible. Also, you can see he didn't send me enough pinks to kill me. Um, you, can, you can see that there aren't enough to kill me. So then he sends re, uh, he sends a camo camo whites, but you can freeze them with the ability. I didn't think he realised. Then he sends some leads, and it's like the leads won't do anything. Leads won't do anything. So I was pretty confident now that I would win this game. But look at this. For some reason, uh, he sent more camo. Leads. It's just a battles TV lag. But somehow. We both die at the same time. Like, one life left! One life left! One life left! And... I die. But anyway, I'm gonna end the video here, and I hope you enjoyed. See you in the next one.